this awesome looking blender water scene runs real time in my viewport. Yep, that's right. This is the new physical open waters add-on from the physical add-ons group. And really, I was waiting a long time for this one because I definitely plan to employ it in my future Heroes of Bronze videos. And right off the bat, I must say it didn't disappoint me. Apart from its speed and optimization, it provides lots of great presets for different types of oceans and an amazing customization. So let's have a little look. After simple activation, you start by just adding this POW, no, not prisoner of war, but uh, physical open waters. And here, first thing, you will do best to specify your camera. Let's put it somewhere here. And now when I sample it in here, you see it cuts off the ocean in real time wherever the camera doesn't see. And of course, you can control this in this menu here, editing the cutoff point in the distance or the fulcrum width, which is how far does the ocean cuts off outside the view of the camera. When I activate the viewport rendering, you can see everything is set up for you and you can shuffle through these presets with all sorts of great looking waves. You can add your HDRI lighting or in my case, I'm actually using this other product from Physical Add-ons, the Starlight and Atmosphere. Super easy to set up with very nice looking results. Oh, and don't forget to switch to this new AGX color profile if you're working in Blender 4.0. It does provide more realistic results, I think. And now just a moment of appreciation for the fact that this all runs smoothly in EV. But of course, a powerful GPU helps. In this mesh menu, you can change the size and resolution of the ocean, all super fast. Uh, but let's go with the default values, as well as for this material menu here, where you can control the subsurface scattering and the color of the water. Now in this waves menu, that's where you can set up most of the details concerning the size and movement of the waves from the smallest to the largest. And also, uh, you can adjust the speed of the wind and its angle and add some foam here. Some of you probably noticed from the setup of the ocean modifier. And if not, you can actually learn all about that in my Master 3D Environments course at CG Boost, where I dedicate a whole chapter to water and oceans. Uh, shameless plug is over now. But with this add-on, you can also play around with the so-called capillary waves. Those tiny little waves resulting from the surface tension. Normally you can see this, for example, when soft wind hits the water. What I find absolutely amazing is that this add-on actually uses level of detail. So the quality of the ocean depends on how far from the camera it is. And it gives more detail to the areas closest to it, while those further away are less detailed. That's why it can be so fast and yet look amazing. And another thing, I love how it creates large bodies of water. And while the tiling is currently still a bit obvious, this is promised to get much better in the future versions coming soon. So if you want to create really large water surfaces fast, I think this add-on will be perfect for you. I know I will be using it for my future videos from ancient Greece, especially after that much awaited object collisions functionality is added which looks great, judging from the videos on the author's Twitter profile. As I said, I am amazed by what this add-on provides and plans to add in the future. And already, in its first version, I can't recommend it enough, especially for ocean close-ups. So yeah, if you like the add-on, go ahead to the link in the description, and if you're fast, the Cyber Monday discount will still be active. But with that, stay creative, my friends, and until next time, Martin out.